Ho, ho, ho! It's a merry crunch time! <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> and welcome to Crunchmas! <laughs> Thomas says, I hate it. I had the idea a while back of doing Christmas in July. I thought that would be fun. Because it's like a thing that some people do. They like. I was told to wear red. They have like holiday get togethers and stuff like that. And I was like, oh man, we should do Christmas in July. So I decided Why? that we would do it in the middle. In the middle of July. Because when the crap are you supposed to do it? The 25th, next Thursday. That makes slightly more sense. But I just figured, you know, in the middle of July, you just pick a day. You just pick a day. So that's why I that's why I did it. Anyway, so today I can just hear you say that, Thomas. So stop. <laughs> so today we're playing Christmas music, and it's not like all of July or anything. But um, you know, it's today. Today is the is the Christmas in July. The other day, you were at the dentist, and I was bored, and I had to get something, so I went into the craft store. This was last Tuesday. Yeah. And they had Christmas stuff out. They're a craft store. Yeah. They're legally obligated to have their, their stuff out. Like, not everything was out. You could tell they were, like, waiting for, like, ornaments to come in and they were gonna go here like they didn't even have Halloween stuff they had fall and Christmas there was like yeah, no well, black cats or broomsticks or well, also, and I had to think in my head wait doesn't Halloween come first yeah but Christmas is a bigger holiday so that's why anyway I decided that out of all of the possible days in July that I would do this, it would be today because it was closer to the middle, because in my head that made more sense. It did not occur to me that Christmas is on the 25th, and I could do it also on the 25th, but whatever. It's fine. It's today. And we all want Christmas to come sooner. Thank I just you, want cooler Lakey. weather. It's been like 110 with a heat index. Which is why you have to have a Christmas so day. So hot. Santa's coming to town. Also, all of the Christmas alerts that we had from Christmas Day last year are back. Today only, because it's Christmas. Anyway, let's read some of these alerts, shall we? We've got subs from Between the Scenes, Ali Mulder 07, Shabbat, Romulus Magnus, Countermaster SS, Endless Void YT, Talking Wombats. Those are Between the Scenes. And then from today, five months resub from Penguin Frog. Five months is a long time. It's true. Right after that, the six months from Haliloth, finally got my double plus. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you for joining us, and congrats on your double plus. I got ten months from Squid of Baconator. It's cool that I've been here for ten months. I just wish I didn't feel awful this morning because of coughing a lot and not getting enough sleep. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Um, I've been there. God, I've been there twice this year already, and I'm not thrilled about that. That wasn't good yesterday, too. Yeah, so. Mallory actually fell under the way. I and know that, how you that's, feel. That's wild. That doesn't happen, honestly. So, um, yeah, I hope you feel better, Squid, because uh, being sick, it sucks. I hate it. It's awful. Also, 10 months, Chrissy. Chrissy G. Uh, thank you for making my work days better every Tuesday and Thursday. Breakfast stream is the highlight of my week. It means a lot to hear. It really does. Uh, also... I relate a little bit, not to say, yeah, we're great, but like I remember whenever, um, uh, whenever I would watch things in the morning, like whenever we would get up early, when and we had just turn on a morning. I show? was going to say when we had cable, yeah, when and we, we would get cable. up and watch like Price is Right or when, yeah. any of those shows. That really like it starts your day off good, mm -hmm. you know, because if you don't have anything particular to look forward to in the mornings, it can be rough, because you you. Or just like, ugh. So when there's something to watch in the morning, it's really nice. So I'm glad that we can be that show for you. That's exciting. Um, thank you, Chrissy. It am. Santa's coming to town. Did your jaw crack? <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. Min Panda uh, asked if didn't we get cable? We did. They took it away. <laughs> He took it away. I'm not sure how we got it in the first place. Because I don't, 
Yeah, I... We live in an HOA neighborhood because pretty much all of them down here are. It's like a thing. I had never heard of an HOA before I came down here. And... <laughs> we got them. Like, the community pays for the cable. And if you want, like, a better tier, you have to pay the extra. But, so, like, we're supposed to have cable and HBO. Like, it's that tier. And when we set up our internet, I asked the guy on the phone, like, oh, this is where we live, um, we, you know, do we get anything with the HOA? And he goes, oh, you get cable. I was like, great, cool. And I don't know if they turned it on at that point or if it had been turned on prior and it wasn't me, it was just on. But our landlord called us and was like, hey, um, yeah, if you want that cable, you need to pay the HOA fee. And she's like, or they can cut the cable. And we're like, cut the cable. Because yeah, we, we don't, we don't need, need it. it. Like, if it's there, I will occasionally be like, news. Yeah. But that's it. So Olympics. We'll get to watch them next year. There's probably a way. Like, it's probably doing a thing. Watching the Russian stream four years ago. I really love continually hearing Will Ferrell just scream Santa. Thomas asked how we'll watch the Game Show Network. We actually still have that. Well, it's not the official but, Game Show Network. No, it's not. But it is old game shows. Yeah. Because um, when if you have a Samsung TV that is connected to the internet, you get TV Plus. And TV Plus is basically just a set of channels that are like they're not much more than glorified YouTube channels and like they're just running all the time in fact some of them literally are YouTube channels we have like uh, what's fail army there's a there's an entire TV channel that is just fail army mm -hmm. the only thing that's weird about the TV plus that we've noticed is that it gets out of sync immediately that scared me Ah, it's 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 holiday cheer, Mallory. And also, I love hearing that little kid scream that. This is really fun. There's never been a happier child than that, and there never will be. That is that was the apex. We we tried as a species, we achieved that mark, and it can never be beat ever again. Anyway, got 10 months up from uh, Toad Link 6. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a nice day today. Pride, Pride Wing, George Toast, Pride Wing. It's like flying toast. <laughs> now that everyone knows what the Nintendo 64 alert is, <laughs> they're like, okay, I need that. <laughs> Thank you, Toad Link. We got eight months from uh, Alyssa Little Bear. Eight months, one more, my toast baby shall arrive. <laughs> Merry Crunchmas. Merry Crunchmas, Alyssa. Also, eight months from uh, Real Mimp. No message, but thanks for being here. Uh, I got 10 months from Phantom SVT. Magical Crunch in July Spectacular. Holiday Tree. Yeah, there's uh, some... Ho people can get some use out of any holiday emotes that they have. Because they, 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 they carry them in their little holiday satchel. And for 11 months out of the year, they're not sure what to do with them. And then suddenly today, they're like, oh my gosh. They're digging through their holiday satchel. <laughs> Everyone's got a holiday satchel, right? Is that a normal thing? Got two months up from uh, Beal Rasmu. Only 162 days, in, shopping days until Christmas. We are closer to Christmas than we are not, though, because it's not yet. Not till the 25th. No, we are. Because July's the seventh month. Oh yeah. Yeah. If, if it everything past June 25th. I see. I think is the thing. I told it to shuffle all, and it, it did three songs and stopped. And then it's, hold on. Go up here. Do this. Do this! <laughs> yeah, it sounds like I'm the one. <laughs> no, no. You scream like a child. There we go. Yeah, we are closer to Christmas than we are away from Christmas. It's true. And also, you know that because 162... Subtracting 365 is 200. The waffle so. house on Christmas, my true love gave to me a bowl of delicious hot grits. See, these were all these were all things. That's not Peggy, though. At the waffle house on Christmas, my true love gave to me. Wait, are those the delicious hot grits? 
<laughs> Those are supposed to be Peggy. Peggy's gonna have her revenge. Definitely set that up to be Peggy. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this live. This might be a terrible idea to try and do. Here, Mal, I'll move this over here so you can talk to chat while I... <laughs> All right, chat. While I attempt to fix this. Tested this Talk about everything. my new video. I have a new video out all about um, choosing a palette for your acrylic painting. And if you're an acrylic painter and you're like, what's a palette or... I don't need a palette, or like, oh, I have this terrible palette and I hate it, you should go watch it. Are you, what, oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, keep talking. Sorry. Can you still move it right more? I had to move it left be a little bit because it there. wouldn't, sh it refused to show me the dashboard. I was like, you can't do that to me. You have to show me where my buttons are. Anyway, sorry, continue. Chess said this was a bad idea. I tested this. I you have the wrong amount. I do? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm bad at numbers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know the day that Peggy arrives. Sorry, this is... Yep, wow. Yeah, I tested this. I'm just bad at numbers. Holy crap. All right, watch this. If I hit save... Okay, now it's... God, I feel so stupid. Now can you rerun those? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I can. Man, I feel really dumb. Really dumb. I'm pretty sure now if I rerun this... Let's see if this Wait, works. there was a toast. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I rerun this, it'll work now. God, I feel, I feel so dumb that I don't know the number. There she is. That. That was what was supposed to happen. That was it. People want to know the number you had. Listen. Listen. You gonna run the other one? Yeah, I'm gonna run the other one too. I understand that there's a two and a three and an. Those combination of numbers. I had written 2300 and not 2033. So when, when Waffle House Christmas played, I was like, huh. I know I set that up and tested it, but I tested it the wrong one. By the way, a huge thank you to LB308 and Moist Peggy for both sending Peggy our way, wearing a cute little Christmas hat. <laughs> Although first sending a Waffle House Christmas our way because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and when I was setting it up, I was like, boop, 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 boop. Yep, real good at what I do. Yep, <laughs> real. It wasn't even that late last night. I know, it, it was just brain. Yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> it was just it was brain. brain. It was just brain. I can't, uh... Can't explain it any other way. It was just I mean, brain. I wouldn't have been able to help even if you had shown it to me, because I was like sick and like. Yeah, Mallory was ill last night. She had a fever. Yeah, nothing else besides feeling terrible. And, and you, you are better today. I assume so. Yeah, yeah. You're you're a little warm, but it's warm up here. Yeah, it is. So I assume that you're. I feel good better. Now. Thank you, Juvenation. Sometimes numbers are hard. And sometimes, the I think the other thing to, to, to remember is that when you're involved with like a lot of different things, like you're clicking lots of buttons or whatever, uh -huh. you're trying to get the buttons parts right. So you the numbers part is like secondary. It's like, I gotta make sure this works. And then you're like, burp, 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 beep, beep, burp, burp, burp. and you don't realize that the beep beep that you thought would be easy, those are harder. Anyway. What is Chess not on board with? Most everything. There's a lot of things that I do, and Chaz is like, oh, yes. a machine gun. 
Oh, oh, oh. Still haven't seen Die Hard. Nope. Gotta fix that. We had 300 bits from Sats. He says, Happy Mid Xmas. I didn't get you presents. 10 a.m. Santa's coming to Santa. Santa! Bits technically are presents, in a way. Either way, I appreciate you being here, and thanks for celebrating my very strange forced holiday on everyone. It's a forced holiday season. Ah. Uh, you didn't think that you were you were, you were coming, but now you're now you're here. Alex May gives us up to Nightbot. Nightbot gets triple plus. Aw. Our little our little bot friends growing up so fast. Thank you, Alex, Alex May. Get a hundred bits from uh, Existential Joker. Learning about the uh, so the 100 bits is a, it's uh, Kevin McAllister putting the hmm. the milk down for Santa. Renee, um, there was Kringle on Wednesday, like a week ago. There was Kringle. There was Kringle. Lindsay, when she came back from Wisconsin for her 4th of July, going home for the holiday, she stopped him, got Kringle, and brought him to Lunch Bunch. Yeah. So there was Kringle last week. Yeah, I've had a lot of, like, holiday cheer lately. Most of it was because of the Kringle. Kringle, you know, Kringle. Um, Kringle is delicious. Chaz is jealous. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Sorry, I just busy kick. Um, there's not any way at this point because acrylic is literally a plastic, and it's gonna bind with whatever fibers are on the shirt. Sorry. Just, you know. Isn't that Chaz's? Yes. But it, it, it adds. It adds. It adds, okay. It's the element. It's the element. If it happens again, I'll be ready. We had 400 bits from Coffee Cats. Uh, Bleeding Purple, which is... Still a thing. That's Today's the last day for that, actually. I have no idea. The 16th. It says, I thought it would do something. The music is uh, not moving. The music is not moving? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll fix that. Yes, today's the last day. Yeah, that's right. Coffee Cats, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let me... They're saying the song name on stream. Oh my god! <laughs> this is Chaz's childhood N64 box. Which was so graciously donated to us. Um... Yeah, the on the screen isn't switching. See that part I didn't test because it's just supposed to work. <laughs> that always works. Oh, you know what I think I did? I think I closed it instead of minimized it. Oh. Which I did earlier on something too. There, now yeah, it works. Yeah, now it's right. Everything. <laughs> It seems like things are breaking. <laughs> if I had known it was to be used for this. I replaced the haircut song with the only thing I could think of, which was that Christmas thing. That was, that was 5,000 bits from uh, Moist Peggy. Who said, I just have to know. And that was the little Twitter video with Yoshi's Island music playing. Thank you, Moist Peggy. I appreciate it. It's that we're spreading holiday cheer today in the middle of July. And more importantly, Anonymous is gifting 20 tier one subs to the community. Holy crap. Holiday cheer is being spread. There's a giant sub bomb that went off. Thank you, Anonymous. And uh, everyone said, hooray. <laughs> Everyone, hooray! Everyone, grab your, I won't scream it, Nintendo 64s. When are we getting the N64 Classic? I don't know, not this year. Person who has collected every Nintendo game. Every N64. When are we getting the one where I can play it again? Where is that? I anyway. just want Animal Crossing. I know, I know. It uh, comes out on your birthday. We had 300 bits from Sparks uh, XV15. Merry Julymus. Crunchmas? Not sure what to call this, but any excuse to celebrate Christmas early is okay with me. Thank you, Sparks. Appreciate it. Also got 500 bits from uh, Squid of Baconator. <laughs> what does this do again? 500 bits, as people discovered, is Nintendo 64. And uh, it's so fun, honestly. 
it's 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 so fun to revisit this because we we only got to use this once, you know. And I can I can do it again once during as we get closer to Christmas. But like I was like, oh, it'd be nice to just suddenly be like, oh, remember all of these? We get to use these again. And also, the Nintendo 64 alert is one of my favorite alerts ever. So I really like it. Oh man. I need this. Mm. Trader Joe's chai tea concentrate is so good. Little peppery. A little peppery? Little peppery. Kind of burns the back of your throat like ginger. Maybe it is ginger, but it tastes like pepper. What's the difference between chai? The chai tea, the chai tea that you make, is it come in the little pa packet? No, when I make it, I That's make what it I mean. concentrate. Well, I was going to ask you, like, what's the difference? I'm assuming yours tastes better. Yeah, mine's not so peppery. Is that the... That's well, it? Well, okay, so this like, stuff <laughs> comes liquid. They add pepper to the packets, and I don't like the pepper, so I make it myself. Is that, like, <laughs> the entirety? <clears throat> this stuff, the Trader Joe's stuff, comes concentrate in a little thing, and then you mix it two parts milk, one part chai concentrate. Mm -hmm. And then um, the stuff I make is I take a big pot with water and I add all my spices in like star anise and cinnamon and ginger and stuff. I don't have my recipe in front of me. Yes. And then I put tea bags in it, just black tea bags. And okay. then I cook that until it's been cooked enough. <laughs> It's early. I haven't had enough caffeine. Cooked and enough. And then I strain everything out. And then it's basically the same thing, except I like it better than the Trader Joe's stuff. And then they also, places sell it, like, in a, like, a tea bag to, like, put in your tea. But it's not as good. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I've, I've liked it whenever you've made it. It's just, it's not, like, something I'm, like, Thank I you, Satsy. I need Brood to have and this all the, the words I needed. <laughs> so sometimes coming up with the, the specific words are... Hard. Uh, we have 10 months up from Kindle Caddy. Um, Kindle Caddy, Kindle Katie. Happy Christmas in July. The town I live in is called North Pole, so it's Christmas here all year round. We actually have a Santa on staff where I work. Now, there's a part of me that is unsure if you mean that you have someone who dresses as Santa, or because it's North Pole, it's customary to name children Santa, and you have someone at work who is actually named Santa. Because I would literally believe either. If you live in a town called North Pole, there's probably a lot of, like, Christmas spirit all the time. Nah, I, have a machine gun. I say as we get a machine gun alert. Oh, oh, oh. Remember the night Santa went crazy? Um, you know, so it's like one of those things, like, they, they could... 47 Roman, why not both? Hi, my legal name is Santa, and I will be playing Santa. You could have a young Santa there. Thankfully, we have a young Santa here. And today is Tuesday, so he's working hard. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kendall. 500, uh, 500 bits from uh, Be Tough to Buck. Again, I think I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure. Good morning and Merry Christmas. I'm back from my vacation to Rhodes, Greece. It was amazing and would, uh, and would definitely recommend, but it was also nice to come home to Norway. The cold is almost refreshing. I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed Greece. You know, it was really cool when you were getting ready to go and you were excited about that, and we could reminisce about that and how cool Greece was. Yeah. Taco Bell Christmas. I'll have Taco Bell. Taco Bell Christmas. Oh my God! What is that guy's? Uh, that guy has made some super cool stuff, and I now this alert is super old now. I have to look up the dude's name because I want to shout out his stuff. Hot Dad. Yeah. It's Hot Dad. Check out Hot Dad's stuff. There's some incredibly amazing things on uh, on their YouTube channel. And I think actually Talk About Christmas is the one that didn't get played uh, last. Yeah, I think so. I think that was like the only alert that never went off. Also, Hot Dad is the best channel name. So uh, check out check out Hot Dad's stuff. Uh, anyway, 
I one place I haven't been to that I think would be really cool to visit is Norway. We would just have to go at a time when it's like we talked about it for. It would require. <sighs> well, we were looking at it for the trip that we were this year with them. Remember? Yes, but I I <laughs> would have to go during a time when it's not winter. not super cold, basically. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, we could figure that out, but like, when it's real cold, I'm like, Ah, oh, Norway? Maybe not. <laughs> Don't know about Norway. Well, the trip we were looking at went up into the Arctic Circle. I know, like, I know. We changed that. <laughs> they were like, yes, but Steven's with us, and he gets very chilly. <laughs> that, that, was, that was how that went. Um, all right. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. We've got a sub also from Daughter Earwig. <laughs> Great name, and uh, we we know your we know your father. <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen your father in our in our kitchen before. Uh, we've got also 500 bits from uh, Jesse Rice this morning, guys. Glad to have this entertainment at work on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Glad to support that entertainment. <laughs> glad to uh, glad to do that, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your recent vacation here in Myrtle we Beach. We saw one of your pictures. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you have, but we saw one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looked really good. Nice segue there. Yeah, Jarrett, um, Jarrett showed us, which was which was cool. We got 200 bits from uh, Moist Peggy, who just said, "Who killed Peggy?" <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, although, as a, I guess, as a bonus, um, even though the Peggy alert didn't go off right the first time, everyone got to hear the talk about Christmas. Uh, not talk about Christmas. The Waffle House Christmas song. God, we have so many chains. <laughs> Soon we'll have McDonald's Christmas and Burger King Christmas. And we'll all be like a a happy little family. Um, <laughs> soon. Anyway, Moist Peggy, thank you for the bits. Oh my god. Uh, we have a five month sub from uh, Waste and Aeon who says, I've had a horrible day at work, working a five person work alone, but at least I'm nearing the end of my shift. Hope your day is better than mine. I hope your day gets better for what it's worth. There's, Jesse. There's, there's still day, there's still day to get better. That's the important thing. Jesse said he got three previews. Okay, cool. It was probably one of them that we saw. Probably, yeah, probably. We got ten months up from Read the Nintendo Painter. Hey guys, just watched the first video Peggy appeared in. Oh my god, I don't think I've laughed so hard in a long time. Here's hoping Peggy never dies. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure she's immortal. So, yeah. um, which you know is like the exciting thing, and then at one point it's like, oh, but <laughs> scary. Very, very scary. Uh, Reed, thank you so much for uh, for 10 months. Appreciate it. We got a nine months up from Luca18. Triple plus. Thank you, Luca. Um, doo -boo -doo -doo. We got uh, the 666 bits, at least the first one. The first machine gun was from Moist Peggy. <laughs> Don't give Peggy a machine gun. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, for bringing Peggy back from the dead, Steven. I can't believe you killed Peggy on Christmas in July. <laughs> the world just wasn't ready. The world, the world just wasn't. Oh my God! The world wasn't ready. But what's in this? I don't know. A Nintendo 64. It's not heavy enough. Oh, it's just the, it's the, styrofoam. the styrofoam. <laughs> it's like shaking. Did you this. ever open it after Chaz gave it to you? No. No, I was like, well, what's in there? Chaz probably told me nothing, and I was like, okay. It's unboxing time. What's in this? Today we are opening styrofoam. And that's it. Uh, Moist Peggy, thank you uh, for the bits. And I'm, I'm glad that I could get those alerts fixed uh, as they're supposed to be. We had 467 bits from LB308. Thank you, LB. Appreciate that. And uh, 500 bits from uh, Bedazzled Triceratops. Taking a break from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey DLC that came out today to watch this morning. I love Peggy, but why no love for Todd and Nelson? <laughs> Admittedly, um, uh, there was a lot less fan art for Todd and Nelson. There was some, just mm -hmm. a lot less. Uh, and Peggy, Peggy's kind of like the mother. Wasn't there like some sort of lore where Peggy was the mother and like Todd and Nelson were the children or something? I'm not entirely certain. Why does it, why does it do that? It doesn't just play through all of the music. I have no idea. Why? It's an hour and 15 minute playlist. It should be long and enough. And it plays like four songs and it's like, well, <laughs> I guess that's it. 
And now I'm wondering, if I play this now, will this know what to do? No. That's what breaks it. When it stops playing music, it, then it just sticks. It's almost... It's almost as if iTunes on Windows is garbage. God. Almost, almost. And now everyone would be like, wait, are you using iTunes on Windows? And I'll be like, yeah. I, I've always, I've always really liked iTunes. I know people have a, a, a lot of problems with iTunes, but I've always used iTunes on Mac where it works fine. Um, and I know it's become bloated over the years to the point that in the next Mac OS, they're actually killing it off completely and separating things out. But it's always worked fine for what I've needed it to use, uh, to use it for. And uh, I just used it on Windows instinctively and um, it don't work so good. It doesn't work so good. People are asking for beans. Have beans. Bean time. Shout out to uh, our patrons. Their names are. Yes. Just want to make yeah, it's working. Oh, well, I was like, th there's things that like didn't change that should work, and there's been quite a few things. There's been quite a, a few like anti-holiday cheer demons that don't want there to be holiday cheer I mean, today. One of them was your own fault. One of them was my brain. My brain is an anti-holiday cheer demon, and I was trying to make sure that I get the numbers right and I get it wrong. So I'm trying to make sure things work right. <laughs> That's why I'm getting things, uh, making sure things work. Anyway, thank you all uh, so much for for patron patronaging. Is that a word? Patronizing? That's probably not the word I want. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. I'll just say that because if I if I use other words, they don't work. <laughs> Uh, we have got a sub also from uh, Sanny, Sanny the Sanny the Carmander. I think that's right. Uh, we got 500 bits from uh, Ramen uh, 64, who's bleeding purple. I appreciate it. Blood purple for the Nintendo 64. And now we get to uh, the numerous anonymous gift subs. Who did they go to? Let me tell you. They went to Kirlin Magic. They went to Chocolate Vanillite. Uh, Ever Changer. Neon Curbs. Tom says, Grimbus. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, yes, thank you for being here. It's Crimbus Day. <laughs> Everything is broken today, but we do have the N64 kit alert with an actual N64 box. And that part has worked because it's a physical object I can grab. Anonymous also gives subs to Xbox 360 Man 17, Ben Strathdy, 47 Rohan, uh, Jade Hexed, Starwise, oh my, that was one of the names, oh my, underscore, Randomness 5001, Vibrant Poppy 13, Zeronium, Capybara, G17 FCH3D, Toast 10, A State of Mind, The One Called RPG, and BRZ1994, oh, and Knit Spike. I do not know who... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I do not know who Anonymous was, um, hence Anonymous. But Anonymous, thank you. Um, I sincerely appreciate the support, and I, I know that the the sub sincerely appreciate their, their Christmas gifts, which was, uh, which was really nice. We got uh, 666 bits from uh, Kikyo539. I sense a bad dream looming. Speaks in code. Now I have a bad dream. Ho, ho, ho. It really doesn't work as well as the machine gun, I think. Kikyo, thank you. We had uh, 200 bits from uh, Somber Mink uh, 91, uh, who is spreading extra cheer, because bleed purple. Don't forget, even after, you, um, even after you leave here and you watch other streamers today, today's the last day to bleed purple. So you can spread holiday cheer elsewhere for today. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> like how Chaz said, if he knew that it would have been used for this, he would have never given me the box. <laughs> Thanks, Chaz. And thank you, Somber Mink. Uh, 115 bits from uh, Jesse Rye. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it. Uh, we had 100 bits from uh, Gold Mage 162. Um, which <laughs> great hearing you tried to pronounce my last name. 
uh, it's pronounced Avrahum. It's the Hebrew pronunciation of Abraham. Is that how you pr is that how you pronounce that? Av Avrahum. I think that's I think I'm reading that correctly. Avrahum. Pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I'm doing that right. Avrahum. How was our optometrist appointment? Our optometrist appointment went well. Um I want to, there's only, there's only a few more alerts to get through, and then I actually want to talk about it just briefly. Av, avra um. Ah. Last part is avra, avra um. Avra um. I'm going to be honest, there's a high possibility that I'm going to call you Gold Mage. <laughs> and it's just because that's going to be something that I remember because it's what's written on the screen. <laughs> and also, if I remember that it's the Hebrew pronunciation of Abraham, I will then mentally... I hum like the sound, sorry, I missed the H. Avraham, okay. See, that's the thing. It's it's written Gold Mage, so I'm probably gonna say Gold Mage because I have to then remember that it's, it's the Hebrew pronunciation of Abraham, and then I have to mentally try and sound it out in my head. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. I forgot about exiling the uh, the reindeer. The, Abr the 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 reindeer got exiled. Anyway, gold mage and Avrum. Got it, Avrum. Thank you. Uh, when we get to the end of the alerts, we'll quickly talk about our, our optometrist appointment because um, some stuff happened for both of us. Probably more for you than me, but. Yeah. Um, but also, I had some I had some good news, so like, that was good. All right, uh, the 1962 bits uh, came from uh, Iron Ironix Girl, who says, "Have we seen this alert yet?" By the way, it's great tuning in again on this wonderful holiday. It's my birthday today. You've got the July Christmas birthday, <laughs> the the fabled July Christmas birthday that's been talked about. Never until today. It was a surprise. It was a surprise holiday birthday. Well, happy birthday, and I hope that you have a wonderful birthday filled with, I guess, you weren't expecting it, but holiday cheer. I think that's probably the best way to celebrate a birthday, is <laughs> to have a sudden holiday also. Thank you, Ironix. The, the thousand alert was cut? Like it, I heard, heard it. it. Yeah. Did it not show up on the screen? Might have not shown up on the screen. Also, some of the alerts, some of the alerts occasionally like do like this. Only the top oh. half of the image. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that when there's so much text, the alert gets pushed. Gets pushed. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to, but it happens. So when the alerts are long, sometimes Chaz is the probably thing... like, oh my god. <laughs> well, I think that's something that Chaz can fix, but like it has to be fixed on a specific alert level, and like it has to be applied basically to everything. So that's like the problem. So like even if I rerun that alert, it won't fix it. It's <laughs> like, but the word that you were missing on that was. Reindeer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bucky Boy was like, this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Thank you, Bucky Boy. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I can't fix that. The only person that can fix that is Chad. <laughs> and I feel bad because Chad, it, it literally has to be fixed on a, a per alert basis. But also, can, can I just shout out, um, Streamlabs for uh, not having things work as they sh just should. Like Streamlabs, I know that we use them because that's how things function, but gosh darn it, there's a lot of things that should just work, Streamlabs. There are things that make sense. Why wouldn't it just function? Why do we have to go in with HTML and custom code things to function the way that they should from the get-go, Streamlabs. I have a lot of strong opinions about their website and how it's run. Just 
not well not how it's run i don't know how it's run but like how it functions and also the ui strong opinions anyway let me get back to alerts 10 month resub from murmur who says yay 10 months and merry christmas merry christmas murmur we have 500 bits from phantom svt who says because nintendo swear 64 <laughs> Man, it's a reminder that the Nintendo 64 came out like a thousand years ago at this point. Phantom, thank you, and thank you for uh, Bleeding Purple. Appreciate it. Uh, 500 bits from Bucky Boy, who said, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, Bucky. Thank you for Bleeding Purple on this wonderful Christmas holiday. Uh, Alex may gifted a sub to Tom Fox, which pushes Tom Fox to double plus. Double plus for Tom. Double plus for Tom. Thank you so much, Alex may. Uh, 500 bits from Kikyo, who's just said, I just wanted to hear the scream again. <laughs> Which I think is a fairly reasonable thing, uh, to do. Thank you, Kikyo, for the bits. I appreciate that. Um, we had, uh, six months from Vegetable Sorbet. Six months already. Seems like a good time to finally thank you for all the years of entertainment and helping me retain my sanity, usually by watching you slowly lose yours. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for being here for, for double plus six months. Uh, I don't mind losing my sanity, especially for the, uh, the entertainment of, of other folks. I've been doing it for even longer than, um, even longer than YouTube has been around. Even, like, when me and you knew each other. Yeah. Actually. Before. Before. Yeah. Sorry. The first video I, yours I saw was I Am Earthbound. Yeah, I was about to say, Mallory, I'm sorry, but... I, knew, I haven't been around forever. I knew you after I knew YouTube. After I after I knew the warm, loving embrace of a website. I'm sorry, Mallory. Um, there were, you know, times before that. I apologize. I just I did what I could. Uh, we had a thousand bits from Troop Captain ninety seven. Uh, asking him because you skipped over my alert. I don't think. Well, Streamlabs breaks. As, as has been evidenced, Streamlabs doesn't work correctly all the time. Uh, today is Prime Day. Can I give a shout out to us in the postal service who work long hours during this week in Christmas? And did you get anything for Prime Day? Did not get anything for Prime Day. Uh, but shout out to all of those who are working uh, extremely long hours. Thank you, Troop Captain, for your service in the postal service. Because that is a um, that is an underthanked job. We always try to be very kind and we loving. Have great postal workers. To the people in our postal yeah. uh, post office. They we, also know us. <laughs> they know us really well. We have an extremely tiny post office. and uh, Like, so so small they have to close for lunch because they don't have enough people on staff to run the desk. And it is very evident that we get the most mail in the entire post office there. Um, so they know us very well and we've established, like, a really good relationship. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you for what you do and thank you for everyone for uh, what they do as well. Actually, when we were getting ready to move before we found this place, I asked the guy, I was like, you know of anywhere to rent? And he goes, yeah. let, let me ask yeah. all the drivers. And yeah. he asked, and next time I came in, he goes, hey, you gotta go check over yeah, in a different they're, neighborhood. Yeah, they're really, they're really spectacular people. Troop Captain, thank you so much for the support. And sorry that, sorry that Streamlabs ate, <laughs> ate your alert. But again, Streamlabs, <laughs> darn it. We got up from uh, Gobi Inu 90 Thank you. Thank, th I said thank you because it was Gobi. <laughs> thank you, Gobi. <laughs> thank you, Gobi. I got a seven-month sub from uh, Endless Void YT. Hi. I can still summon the Peggy emote. You can, especially when Peggy runs by wearing a, uh, a Santa hat. You got a thousand bits from uh, Bucky Boy 2009. Bonus uh, 100 uh, small text. That was to test to see if that's it right. Up. That was to test mm -hmm. to the things. Eventually, I'd like it just to all work. We're gonna have to go in and, and program. I think we have a. Do we have a program for breakfast stream stuff? I have no idea. Maybe it's just Christmas that's not fixed. But darn it, it's, supp it's supposed to function. It should be the default thing. It should be top aligned. Why would you program it? Because on Streamlabs, you have the option of making it in a block. And if you make it in a block, why would you want it to do this ever? Why would that be the default? Why would you have to, and you can't, there's not a button to fix it. You have to go into the HTML and code it to fix it. Exile the reindeer. Just saying. They eat a lot of beef. If I made the website, that would be a thing that just worked. 
I have a lot of opinions, but Bucky Boy, thank you for showing everyone the Exile of the Reindeer. By the way, that's a fun thing to Google later, is that song. You can't Google Exile of the Reindeer, because that's not what it's called. Hilarious. It's actually called Eight Tiny, tiny. Reindeer. Eight Tiny Reindeer. And then it's, I think, it's like that, a... I think it's, hey, that's a lot of feet. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Thomas says, why don't you make the website? Because I can't, Thomas. That's what drives me insane. Ever, you're allowed to have opinions about things that you cannot do, though. I cannot make, I mean, well, I can technically make a website, but not to that level. You have to explain why that song is the way it is, though. The story behind it. We went to, um, this will be a very quick story, but uh, whenever Mark and Rhonda were here for one Christmas, we went to the tree lighting ceremony, um, and they were like, the tree lighting ceremony will be at 7 o'clock, and then, of course, it wasn't. They made you watch children sing for 45 minutes before they actually lit the tree. And it was all these like really young children and we were trying to figure out what they were singing. And it just sounded like Exile the Reindeer, Hey, That's a Lot of Beef. And I was like, what is, what are they saying? So of course we eventually figured it out, but Brandon, <laughs> we got the Brandon liked the real song. And Rhonda was like, hey Siri, <laughs> search the web for. Yeah. what? Siri, what's the song for Exile the Reindeer? And of course, Siri's like, I don't, <laughs> what are you, what? It's a, it's a great little story. It's a great little story. We got a 10 months up from Hotex Page. Thank you, Hotex. Also 10 months from uh, CK14500. Uh, things work, why would they? Plus 10 months, man, that's a lot. Thank you, Calvin. I really appreciate it. Thank you for 10 months. Now. Let me, optometrist time. Let me let me tell you about the optometrist. Should I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. My first thing was that when I was at the optometrist last time, that is where they found the cholesterol. Because I didn't know I had a cholesterol problem until I went to the optometrist. And by the way, if the optometrist is the one that tells you that you have cholesterol, spoilers, you have bad cholesterol. It should not be in your eyeballs. So, um, the, the, op, the op arteries and veins in your retina. Yeah. So the, the optometrist was very concerned. I was like, you should see a doctor. Now this was last year. So I went to the doctor and they took my blood test and they're like, your cholesterol is very high. This is not good. You should change this. And I did. Um, yeah. I made health changes and I went back in six months and they're like, you did good. You did good. You need to keep this up. So I did. And then I went back to the optometrist, as you guys know, on Thursday, last Thursday and no cholesterol in my eyes which was good. I mean, I should still occasionally get some blood tests probably, but I've tried to make, you know, basically dietary changes to my life, um, mm -hmm. and I have, and I've, I've stuck with them. The biggest ones, I've made two really big, well, three really big ones. The first one was um, I stopped eating three eggs every day. Eggs have cholesterol, but I don't think that was really the problem. The problem was that I cooked them with a lot of butter because they're better. And you ate them all the time. And I ate them all the time. So it was not, I really don't think it was the eggs. It was as much as it was the butter. I was consuming a large amount of butter. As Brandon says, butter with a side of eggs, um, which you shouldn't do. Um, and if you're gonna do, you should only do like once in a while. You shouldn't do it multiple times a week. That was the first thing. Um, I also cut out fried foods for the most part. Um, like I, I'm a big fan of fried chicken. I grew up in the South and I would get fried chicken for whatever reason, you know? Whether it was like KFC style fried chicken or if it was like a fried chicken filet on a sandwich. And I just ma I just made the switch from fried to grilled because I consume a lot of chicken and I was like, well, I could just make that change. Mm -hmm. And I did, so I did that. And then the third thing I did was um, I started eating more grains, which is actually one of the reasons that toast is a big thing now. So, yeah. That's, that's actually why I eat toast. And Speaking I don't have any toast, toast today because we ran out of bread. We're going to the grocery store after this. There will be there will be toast on Thursday. It's, a, it's literally a health thing. It's not just like a funny Stephen is making a joke meme thing. It's like, no, Stephen eats the bread to not die because it's, it's good yeah. cholesterol, so, or cholesterol killer, whole grains are. So, yeah. How does a toast channel run out of bread? Uh, accidentally, primarily. So, yeah, it's actually funny because last year during the vlogs, I'm like, this is the year of the chicken strip. Yay, fried chicken strips. And then I go to the eye doctor and they're like, you're gonna die. And I'm like, oh, 
and then it's like, did I say chicken strip? I meant the year of not that. Do, 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 do. Happy, happy birthday, Rian! Happy, happy birthday, Rian! 74! My connection, here we go! It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Rian. Fun little segue, too. Now, I did remove the haircut alert, but um, that was this was a real alert that we had on Christmas. It was just, I think it was set higher, so I removed the haircut because I don't have a holiday version of the haircut song. And I put that in there. Rian, thank you so much. And happy birthday, happy holidays to you. Uh, we've got two birthdays. Two holiday birthdays. To, I keep saying it as if it's officially recognized on all calendars that July 16th is an actual Christmas holiday. Rian, thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. And uh, I hope you have an awesome birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, so that was, that was my side of the optometrist story. Oh, wait, one more thing, though. <laughs> I've been getting goopy eyes. Um, did the thing stop again? Yep. And of course, the... no, the thing, the thing will break too, because if I do, you know what, you know what? Christmas is over. I'm going back to the normal playlist, because if I go to the normal playlist, then it'll actually work. 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Santa! The Christmas, the, the holiday alerts will stay up. There. Using playlist breaks the thing. I don't know why, but it does. Darn it. <laughs> Sassy says, hot Xmas, or triple Xmas, or, wait, maybe not. <laughs> Things not to Google at work. <laughs> triple Xmas. N not advised. <laughs> Thank you, Satsy, for uh, for 300 bits. Get Appreciate him. it. Santa's coming to Santa. <laughs> Coffee cats right behind Satsy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can we hear Will Ferrell scream one more time? The answer to that is yes. Thank you, Coffee Cats. Appreciate it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to add is that um, I've, been, I've been having the eye... I call them eye boogers. I don't know what they're called. I got old, my it's eyes... mucus from allergies. Yeah, I never yeah. used to have allergies. And then I got old and I got allergies. So I've been having to get the crap out of my mm -hmm. eyes at night. And I told the optometrist about it. And the optometrist said, we have a cure. Open the back, back room. <laughs> And Peggy ran out and stomped all over my eyes. <laughs> that is uh, 2033 bits from Rianne celebrating their birthday with Peggy. Merry Christmas in July. Well, thank you for that, and thank you for bleeding purple. Appreciate it, Rianne. Thank you. And again, happy birthday to you. You're celebrating. You're celebrating your birthday with <laughs> with Peggy. Does any? Did anyone have like their Damn, holiday hats? Santa's coming to town. We have kitty holiday hats. We do have kitty holiday hats. I got hit by a lot of yawns right now. I was I fine saw, until I know, like just now, and I it was saw like, you you're yawning. tired, and I'm like, I am? Yeah, I, I look at the corner of my eye, you're just like, yawn. I'm not yawn. trying to, it's all of a sudden. Yawn. Oh, if I talk <laughs> about it, you do it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Hey, Mal. <laughs> Mal. Oh God! Don't don't Pillsbury Doughboy me. You had surgery. Yawn, Brandon Brandon's right. Yawns are psychological. They're super contagious. The fact that I yawned probably meant that a lot of you just yawned also. And I don't know why it works that way. Okay, stop poking me. I had surgery. <laughs> Two years. You're ago. not allowed to poke me. Also, you're making me yawn. The fact that you've talked about it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Son of a gun. <laughs> Drink coffee. Don't poke me while I'm yawning, it resets it! <laughs> I swear, I have to start over. God, I can't do it now. What have you done? I can't get it out. Oh my Okay, I completed it. Jesus! <laughs> Lord have mercy. What? It's awful. It's like a sneeze. Oh, oh! I felt my head get fuzzy from all of that. It's like it took too long to yawn. 
Sorry, Toad Link. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. They're contagious. Don't talk about it and don't do it. If you read have to do it, just cover your mouth and act like you're not. Your eye allergies. <sighs> there are 300 bits from Bedazzled Triceratops who really wanted to hear one more Santa. But if you thought that was the last Santa, you'd be wrong because right behind Bedazzled Triceratops was Rianne 74 with another 300 bits for Santa. <laughs> it's a good alert. I actually, it's actually said some of our best alerts are the Christmas alerts. <laughs> this is only the second time they've, they've had a chance to be seen. Thank you, Rianne. Uh, and then 500 bits from Iron X Grove says maybe this <laughs> will wake you up. Uh, it, I think it does help a little bit. So, Nintendo 64. Eye allergies. Thank you, Iron X. It's more than just like the regular little bit you get in the morning. Yeah, this I. Is... Yeah, I'm. It's it's starting to become what I would call a chronic problem, mm -hmm. and because of that. Um, I, I mentioned it to the eye doctor. Yeah. So the optometrist prescribed me some drops. Uh, and I can't tell you what they are. I don't know. It's, she said it was like kind of liquid Benadryl in a drop form. Yeah, but the, she said it was also non-steroid. Benadryl's not a steroid. It's an antihistamine. Okay. Which is what that is. Okay, well then that. Your that's Your flonase is a steroid allergy. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I used that. Mm -hmm. I've been using that, and I haven't seen any progress yet, but it's supposed to take, like, a week or two. So, we'll see if it does anything, because seriously, at night, um, my vision just gets impossible, yeah. you know? And it's probably a good thing, because it's like, hey, go to bed. So then I'm like, oh, I should go to bed. But it's, like, not even my, um, it's not even my contacts. I'm sure it doesn't help, but, like, it's my yeah. eyes, because even after I take my contacts out, my You're eyes are having... just... So, I don't know. I don't know why I developed allergies. I guess it's part of getting old. But that was my experience, which was not as bad as Mallory's because her... It wasn't bad. Yeah, but your prescription changed. Not that much. But it changed. Yeah. So you need, like, new contacts. I mean, yeah, I needed new contacts anyway. And you need new glasses? I wanted new glasses anyway. Oh. <laughs> my prescription has not changed in a decade, so... If it changed at all, that would be very inconvenient, you know? Yeah. But yours, you, yours is changing. Your eyes are the same badness. Yeah. <laughs> Prescription? Yes. Badness? Doc, I tell you, here's my problem. My eyes are the same badness. I mean, that, but the, it's true. I have the same prescription in both eyes, which is like, uh, your eyes equally suck. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Like, but, but it's really convenient because I can, like, mix and match contacts. It's like, whatever. Um, you don't have to pay attention when you open a new case. Correct. I don't have to, and it's not like I get them accidentally in the wrong eyes, and I'm like, ah, I can't see. It's just, and my prescription hasn't changed in 10 years. My eyes are still worse than Mallory's, but they've been worse for longer and haven't changed. So that's, like, really convenient for me. But yours change, and you don't even care. No. She said I was getting older. It was going to happen. I'm getting older. I'm older than you. Yeah, but I'm I'm getting older. How's your has your prescription? Mine didn't change last year. Has your so prescription? So next year yours might change because then your, you're gonna be 31 like me. Has your prescription changed in 10 years? Um, it changed a lot in the beginning, like when I was first having trouble, and that like that was like middle school, and then like near the end Ten of high years. school. Ten years ago, you weren't in middle school, right? No. <laughs> I was no, like, wait, how old are you? college and stuff, it didn't change. Okay. Well, then but, maybe next year's my year. So, you go in, and I love our optometrist. She's real bubbly and fun. She is fun. And um, making jokes about stuff and explaining everything. She's really knowledgeable about every part of the medical she's actually, profession. Yeah, she's actually... Exp uh, she's even knowledgeable about stuff other than eyes, which yeah. is really helpful, because... You can talk about other th like things that are going on in your eyes, and she'll be like, "That can be linked to this or this or this." And like, she's just really smart. Yeah. So, um, so my appointment was first, and the tech takes you back and does like the puff of air and stuff. And she's like, "Now you haven't been dilated in five years." I was like, "I know." I said, "You know, the doctor never says I need to because my pupils are so big." And the tech looks at me, and she's like. Yeah, she's like, as long as you're fine not being dilated. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to be, if that's okay. She's like, yeah, your your eyes are big enough. So she did all the tests, and she put me in the room with the chair with the 
one two thing, like the doctor's actual room. Yep. And doctor came in and she was talking to me about stuff and she did the one two and checked all the stuff and then she put um, the thing on what my prescription was and then flipped it to what it was to last Thursday and. Like, it wasn't a big jump in number, but it felt like it when she did it. I was like, oh, that's why I haven't been able to read chat lately. You haven't been able to read well? I've been squinting, especially when I have my glasses on. And people have noticed. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And right now, everything is clear and perfect. There you go. She's so. been telling you. Has she? Yeah, I've been asking you to zoom in and stuff. Like, if I have my glasses on, I'm like, can you make the chat bigger this morning? I just I just assumed that you were, like, tired from, like, sleeping. Like, you were still waking up. I didn't know that you were blind. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, hey, you got that fixed. Good. Good so, work. So, <laughs> she also wanted me on a lens that gave more oxygen, so she made me switch contacts to a different brand. And so far, I don't like them, but she gave me two types to see. And then once I decide between these two types... Then I'll get my prescription, and then I can go get my new contacts and glasses. Well. And she just gave you your prescription, so you can go at any time, but... It's true. I might finally get new glasses. I've had these glasses for a decade. I think I've talked about that recently. And, um, well, over a decade, probably. And uh, I might get new glasses. I'm not sure. I'm, it'd be like a new style. It'd be a yeah. new me. A new you. A new me. Yeah. Maybe I'll get like the. A bowl of delicious hot grits. The 1600 alert thing is the one that we don't have a Christmas version for. So, that's, so we don't have a Christmas Mary Kate and Ashley alert. We never did, unfortunately. Um, so it's just Waffle House. That is from Rianne. Uh, Rianne74 says, I'm older too today. Really don't feel my age though. My eyesight has gotten real, really bad, but I've been blind in my left eye since I was like eight. Hmm. Well, I mean, we get older, and things happen, and our eyesight gets gets worse. But, I mean, if you've been blind in one eye, then, you know, I guess that's just a thing to... You have that comparison. But, uh, I appreciate the bits, and, uh, I, I can concur with not feeling your age. Because I also don't feel my age. And if you ask Mao, I don't act my age either. No. How old do I act? <laughs> sometimes. Oh Lord, here it comes. Like eighty, and sometimes like eight. Ten. Yeah, sometimes eighty, and sometimes eight. <sighs> act your shoe size. You don't want me to act my shoe size either. <laughs> that's it's also it's also not good. Rian, uh, thank you, and uh, again, happy birthday to you. We also had 100 bits from uh, Ma from Majora Curse. I said this earlier, but Mao used yawn, Stephen gets drowsy, next turn Stephen falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, no more yawning. No more yawning. Anyway, the optometrist appointment was, uh, was fun, it was a success, and we got treated, which was important. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. At your height. <laughs> Act your height in centimeters. So 100, 198. 200. Act 200 years old. That's going to be it for today. We, uh, it, it actually, it, things went a little bit longer than I was expecting them to, but that's all right. <laughs> pretty, pretty normal. More normal like breakfast stream now. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much for the support this morning. And uh, thank you for celebrating the forced holiday. You didn't suspect you were going to be celebrating holidays in July, but I said, you have to. <laughs> it's mandated. Yeah, that's what you told me. I said, Mal, wear red. You'll see. And you did. It was wonderful. Uh, I hope you all have a, uh, a wonderful Tuesday. We'll be back on Thursday for not a Christmas-themed breakfast stream. Um, and... Uh, Trying to think if there's any other things to watch out for today. My video, if you haven't seen it already. If you haven't seen Mal's video on palettes, it's very interesting. Um, I think you'd enjoy it even if you are not a painter. And if you are a painter, especially acrylic, you should definitely check it out. It's uh, worth checking out. And then also, um, if you haven't seen my parents play Mario Party, the final part to that came out yesterday. 
and it's a three-part Mario Part Mar Mario Party board, and it's worth Damn, catching. Santa's coming to Santa! <coughs> I didn't want to scream into the mic for everyone. Don't ruin your voice. But by doing a tiny scream, it was actually harder. <coughs> Thank you, Rianne. 300 bits for Santa. Everyone, go celebrate so celebrate your forced holiday uh, for two, or possibly more of you, uh, celebrate your, your birthdays. And uh, I will have at least one more TRG Coliseum vlog out today. We also got to go mail stuff. That's right. I gotta That's right. Mail things. Lots That's right. of things. We got to mail. Uh, we got to mail off the Patreon prints, and uh -huh. then also uh, the winner of the um, Bioshock painting. We have to mail off their their painting today, also. Yeah. And Mallory's also um, getting started on another painting, and it's great. And it's great. And since Mal started Mal makes, I wanted her to paint. Honestly, this scene. I've really wanted. You've already painted something from this game. Yeah. That's the only. Spoiler I can give. That narrows it down a bit, you know, from every game in the universe to, it has, it's from a game Mallory has this painted This is painting before. number 80. 80 paintings, Mal. Mm -hmm. It's wild. All right, folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday. We will see you here on Thursday. It's not broken picture. <laughs> That's a good guess. We will see you Thursday for more Breakfast Dream. <laughs>